This is Four Corners here, where four states meet. And there are all these um, native wares for sale here. I'm going to go look at the corner. Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I'm here at Four Corners, uh, which is a place where f four states meet. And um, it's surrounded by stalls with Native American wares for sale. And then there's a circle of um, flags all around it, too, that are flapping in a very stiff wind today. And I notice over to the side that there's a place to climb up a, a, a very colorful mesa. So next time I'm here, I'm here, I'll come prepared and uh, for a long walk. And I heard there's rattlesnakes out here, too, so I think it'd be good to wear um, tall boots while, while hiking. So uh, there's that. And I just thought I'd mention a, um, a prayer that I've been working with since really early this morning that's accomplishing wonders in my life. Uh, it reminds me of the power of prayer that I used to hear about all the time, how powerful prayer can be in our lives for transforming every aspect of our life, or as they say in Ascension terms, for redecorating our hologram. <laughs> so, the prayer that I've been working on has to do with what I hear on the clairaudient plane, the astral stories that I hear. And whenever I hear the beginning of a sad astral story, I've been doing like this. I've been saying, um, I pray that this person or these people, whoever are talking, uh, and their families, each and every one may find peace and love and joy. And I say that over and over again until my heart becomes, uh, ch chakra energy becomes larger. I'll repeat it. It goes like this. I pray that this person and their family, each and every one, may find peace and love and joy. Okay? And, and it's working very quickly, too. Very well and very quickly. And what it does is... Um, it, it somehow stops the sadness in the astral stories from starting up or fear or anxiety. All the um, negative emotions just s seem to stop. I don't know why. I guess it's what they call the power of prayer. <laughs> and then sometimes I alter it a little and say, I pray that these, these people uh, and their family and friends, for instance, and then go on. Um, depending on what seems to be transpiring at the time. It's working great. You don't have to say somebody's name because it's really hard to know for sure what somebody's name is on the astral plate. So, wish you all the greatest. Let's take care. During the March Blitzkrieg of, of energy, of light coming in. I will say over, over last weekend... Uh, there was a knitting up, uh, merging and knitting up of uh, just a stellar number of timelines for me. And it was a breathtaking uh, experience from moment to moment as one timeline after another merged into my optimum timeline. So during that time, the, um, the mantras, the tools that I was using, the ascension tools that I was using, were first to optimize the timelines and that goes, a spirit to team, optimize timelines for the all through free will. I've spoken of this many times in past. Spirit to team, optimize timelines for the all through free will. And once the timelines, the, the my awareness timeline became my optimum timeline, then I, I would work uh, morning, noon, and night with Judy Satori's Regeneration 101 series. Uh, she has one five-minute meditation for morning, one seven-minute meditation for noon, and one five-minute meditation for night. Each of them has language of light. So what they do is they optimize dimensions. The one optimizes timelines and the other optimizes dimensions. And that way, all of the 
um, sad astral stories that have spun out in past uh, can can be reabsorbed into the mainstream of, of bliss, right? That's that's ongoing on on Earth right now. It worked wonderfully. It was it was a terrific weekend, and I hope yours was just as fruitful and just as enjoyable. Uh, so I, I will talk to y'all later. Take care. Love you lots. <laughs>